Hello there, I'm Tony Ayres from Harmonica Academy and I was just playing a harmonica tuned to Major Cross. Major Cross is a tuning system that I developed around 20 years ago for playing fast bluegrass fiddle tunes and Irish tunes as well. So in this video I'm going to talk about how it works and I'm going to start by looking at uh, the regular tuning um, known as the Richter tuning and why that create some difficulties for playing fast tunes. So if we look at the Richter tuning, for in this case for a harmonica in the key of C, we notice that in for the bottom four holes there are a couple of missing notes. An F is missing and also an A. And for tunes in first position, that means using a C harmonica for tunes in the key of C, it turns out that you need this A note all the time. Now, as most harmonica players know, you can get these missing notes through bending techniques. For example, the A you can get by bending the third hole draw down. So you can do things like this. So the note's there. However, you, the bend to get it is reasonably difficult and getting it in tune is similarly a challenge and also getting this bent note to sound like the other notes around it is also a challenge. And there are many players who overcome these challenges but they remain nonetheless. Now most harmonica players actually play in second position or cross position and that's where you have a harmonica in the key of C like this one to play tunes in the key of G or to play blues in G. And uh, the scale there is starting on the two hole draw, which is a, a G, it sounds like this. Once again, there's that bend on the three draw to get the, the A note. And if we look at the G scale, because we're playing the key of G, you'll notice that there's an F sharp, but when we play in second position, that note is an F. Now, an F sharp can be played by uh, using overblow techniques, but they're very challenging. And so for tunes in second position on a standard harmonica, uh, there are also challenges. And so that's where major cross tuning comes in. And I came upon the idea at the National Folk Festival in Australia uh, 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago, by looking at the uh, button accordion players. Now, the button accordion is very like a harmonica, except you don't do any bending. And I, I thought, these guys, they're just playing the notes. They're all there, or mostly there. Why can't we come up with a harmonica that's the same way? So that's where I came up with major cross tuning. It's actually quite similar to the Lee Oscar melody maker. And the idea is to play in second position or cross position but for the entire instrument to be tuned to a major scale, so you don't have to bend any notes. So this is what the tuning system looks like. You'll notice that seven notes have been changed, so it's quite a radical change to the harmonica. But you'll also see that in second position, all of the notes of the G scale are there without doing any bends. So this is a uh, major cross harmonica again. So I can play two complete scales, G scales. At the bottom I can go down to the D or to the fifth, or the fifth position, fifth scale degree. And at the top I can go up to a third. And it turns out that this range of notes fits just about all fiddle tunes. So I started off by playing uh, the temperance reel. Um, I'll play another one in, I guess, second position. This one's uh, Flowers of Edinburgh. So 
certainly easier than bending notes. Now it turns out with uh, major cross tuning, there are three other positions uh, which you can use as well. Uh, the first one is for this harmonica tuned to uh, G, to the G scale, is uh, E minor, where the home or root note is the one whole draw. And uh, for tunes uh, like Jerusalem Ridge, which is actually usually an A minor, but sounding like this. <laughs> so on. Um, it's a very nice position. Uh, another position is the equivalent of third position, but here uh, it's used for modal type tunes. Um, for example, here in the tunes in the key of D, which then go down to a C chord. Tunes like uh, Redhead Boy, for example, which is a bluegrass, an Irish standard, normally in the key of A. Uh, in this instrument, Redhead Boy played in, <clears throat> I guess, third position, sounded like this. blunders there but um, you get the idea. Um, again the tunes sort of fit very easily with major cross tuning. Uh, the fourth uh, position which I use quite frequently is where the three hole blow um, is the tonic note. I guess for regular harmonica the, it'd be the equivalent of fourth position um, for tunes like uh, Drowsy Maggie. So there are four very useful and usable positions with major cross tuning. Um, and it turns out as a sort of an accident of the tuning that uh, there are a lot of useful chords as well. Uh, they don't sound so great on the higher instruments, but here I've got a, um, a low F tuned to major cross, um, which makes it in the key of C. Um, so in the key of C, there's a one chord, a four chord, a five chord, a low five chord, a six chord, a two chord, a three chord, So a lot of chords for backing. So that's the major cross tuning system. It's been the basis of my style for the last uh, 20 years. I use it all the time. Uh, getting a major cross harmonica means either taking a regular one and retuning seven notes, uh, which I have done often, getting a harmonica customizer to make them for you. And I'm lucky enough to have Neil Graham in Australia, who's made me a set of major cross instruments. Or uh, Seidel um, have their harp configurator service where you can order a tuning and they'll build an instrument for you. I think Hona may have a similar service available through their uh, custom shop. So major cross harmonicas aren't available. You don't need them in all 12 keys. Uh, if you've got ones for the keys of G, D, A, and C, that covers pretty much all of the traditional, at least bluegrass and Irish tunes. So that's uh, major cross tuning. Uh, I like it. Uh, hopefully at least now you've got a better understanding of how it works.